First of all, connect the suction pad to the RAC107 dash cam like so. Then take the dash cam and the suction pad to the windscreen, position it in a convenient place, and when it's in place, fix it by pushing the lever up like so. Next, take the USB end of the power lead and connect it to the RAC107 like so. Once it's in position, then take the other end of the power lead and connect it to the in-car power. Once the RAC107 is in place and connected to your in-car power, just switch on the engine of your vehicle and the RAC107 will start up automatically and start recording. At the top of the screen here, you'll see a counter, a timer, to show it's actually recording. And at the bottom of the screen, you'll see the date and the time. The screen itself is timed to go off after about 20 or 30 seconds so that it doesn't distract you whilst you're driving. So whilst you can actually see what the camera is recording, as you see then, the screensaver kicks in and the camera goes off. However, if you want to make sure it's recording, just push any button once and the camera will come back on again for around 10, 20 or 30 seconds. You can actually alter the time in the menu settings of the dash cam. The camera itself records onto a memory card which is located here on the side of the RAC107. The RAC107 comes with an 8 gigabyte memory card pre-installed and if you want to take it out you just push on it gently and it comes out like so. This is now ready to be put into your computer so that you can now view the footage in the same way that you would from a digital camera. There are a number of settings that you can change using the menu on the RAC107. In order to enter the menu function, first of all you need to stop recording by pushing the OK button once. You can tell it stop recording because the timer will have changed from red to white. If you push the menu button here once, you then enter the menu setting and you can use the up and down buttons to scroll through the options. So if for example you want to enable audio recording, you find the setting, push the OK button and it will then tick to show that it's enabled. You can then simply push the menu button once to come out and then to start recording again just push the OK button once and the timer will change from white to red. You can go into the menu and experiment and see all the different settings but the truth is you don't really need to change any of them because they've been preset to record to the optimal video coverage.